Hi campers. campers, welcome back to the Choose Leisure Motorhome channel. My name's Dawn. And my name is Mark and we are your dedicated handover technicians down here at Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury, mm -hmm. Kent. Well, today, Mark, this is an example of one of our lovely uh, pre-loved or used auto sleepers that we currently have in stock. Uh, what are we going to be doing with this lovely pre-loved auto sleeper, Mark? Well, imagine, if you will, a grassy knoll, a stream, some lambs bouncing around in the background instead of this, uh, well, this showroom. Uh, we're going to be running this van up. So imagine you've just turned up at a campsite and we're going to go around, show you all the pertinent points and how to run a van up from scratch and then drain it down. Well, here we are campers on the near side, the passenger side of the United Kingdom. We've just turned up at a campsite. We've got a handbrake on, maybe you want to leave it in gear. First thing we're going to do is locate our drains. No drains on this side, on the near side. But what we're going to do, we're going to walk around the back of the van, open up the rear doors, and I'm looking for the boiler drain. So I'm going to open up the cupboard. We find a boiler drain here, and it's one of those Truma boiler drains. I'm going to spin it round push the button in, the boiler drain is now closed. So now we want to locate the waste drain and indeed the fresh drain. And on this particular van, on the auto symbol, symbol plus, we have our waste drain, which I'm just gonna pop down and I'm gonna close. Actually, that is already closed. So those two little eyelets are together. That's in the closed position, popping back up into position. And then I'm going to check the fresh water drain. And the fresh water drain is open, so I'm now going to close that by spinning the lever around. Those two eyelets, when they're together, that's in the closed position. So both of our drains on the outside are now closed. And then we can then start to fill the van. And there's two ways to start to fill the van. We've got the whale system here, or indeed the ordinary a uh, freshwater filler point there. So here we are campers, we've taken off of our uh, freshwater filler, the actual cap, we've got a food grade hose in there, and we're now beginning to fill up our freshwater tank. We can either do it this way, or we can attach the whale pump, an electronic pump, and you can just pop that into there, lock it down, and from the control panel inside, you can then control the pump or turn the pump on. And this does enable you to say, let's say you had your van up on levels and you didn't want to move the van. You could actually take a container of water, an aqua roll, um, or a container to the tap, bring it back to the van, and you could actually fill your fresh water tank from a container. And that's controlled on the control panel inside the van. If you're on a full service pitch, you can use a whale hose, which is like a flat space saving hose. It goes in exactly the same way. So you've pretty much got identical end, but instead of the electrical contacts, you've got a blue plastic clip, but it will go into the van in exactly the same way, lock it down, and then hose lock it onto an outside tap, turn the tap on, and you could fill your freshwater tank from there. So you can actually fill it from that, or if you're on a full service pitch, there are sensors attached to that, aren't there? Absolutely. So that if you're, um, you know, once the tank's full, it yep. cuts the water supply off and then tops it up. So it's exactly. like mains fed water. Yeah, exactly. Then all you, all you need to be aware of, and you can look on the control panel, is how much you've got in your waste tank. Yeah, I probably wouldn't put the mains pressure on full blast either. No, just turn it on just and it will draw what you want. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, well, I've just been looking through the window here and I can see the control panel. I've got half a tank. And if I'd winterized the van and completely drained it down, drained the boiler, drained all the tanks down, if I was traveling to a campsite, I might put just half a tank of fresh water in so I can then prime the system up. I've got the system full so I can then, you know, use the, lose the loo on the way if I'm traveling or have a cup of tea. And then I would fill the tank up when I get to a campsite. So campers, here we are inside the van. I'm just going to touch the uh, screen to bring it live. And as you can see, I've got half a tank of fresh water. And the reason I would only put half a tank in is because if we're going to be traveling, you might want to take all of that weight, that 80, 90 kilos with you. So I'm going to put half a tank in, then I can prime the boiler up, fill the boiler up, and then fill up the tank when I get there. But at least I've got water on board so I can use the loo and maybe even have a cup of tea. So campers, we've got half a tank of fresh water. Um, we tend to leave the taps open, just a little tip. So when you're filling the tank, it does push air out through the system. Uh, but now we've got half a tank. Uh, I'm now going to put the pump on, on the system. Sometimes with the auto sleepers, you have to push the pump 
button a couple of times to actually get the pump working because there's a little bit of air in the system the pump's working i'm now going to turn the tap on so we've got some cold water coming through the tap in the kitchen i'm going to turn that guy off and then i'm going to come in to the bathroom and i'm going to turn the cold tap on in the bathroom and we've got some cold water coming through as you see just a little bit of air but now what we want to do is pump some cold water through the boiler to in effect prime the boiler and that is just as simple as coming onto the hot tap turning onto the hot tap and that will cough and splutter for quite a while so basically once it stops going ball all up and yeah. gurgling away like a demented frog and then, there's a, then you filled your boiler up and it's exactly. good to go. Exactly, and we've got some cold water coming through. And we do need a nice steady stream of cold water coming through both cold and hot tap. Just make sure the shower's all, all for, like, yeah. not full of air as well. Exactly, just, just run sure. the shower as well. Make sure you're not standing in it fully clothed, obviously. Yeah, and obviously you get a bit wet. <laughs> Sometimes what I tend to do as well, I close one and then come back onto the other tap and open that up as well, just to help prime the system. And I'd alternate between the two, but that's just me. You might just want to leave one tap open and just let it run through one. Yeah, it can be a little while, can't it? So it depends on how far away the boiler is from the taps and things like that. So it can take a, you know, a good 10 minutes to prime there it all go. through, but here we go. So we're beginning to get a nice steady stream of cold water coming out of the hot tap in the kitchen. So I'm going to turn that guy off. I'm then going to go back to the bathroom. Still a little bit of air coming through. There we go. So we've got some nice cold water coming out of the hot tap. A shorthand way of thinking about it, campers, if you've got cold water coming through the hot side of the tap, it's got to be coming through the boiler so both your sides are primed up and then you can start demanding your hot water. Now we've primed the water up, where are we going next? Let's get the bed ready for this for this evening. Okay. We can actually spin the seats, give ourselves a little bit more room. So if I swap ends with you, Marky. <laughs> Uh, well, while I'm up this end, I might as well show you <laughs> campers the kitchen, which is very nice. And the Symbol Plus, full size cooker, nice big sink. You even get the luxury of a coffee pot, lots of storage, microwave. Very, very nice. And then you've got your bathroom um, just to one side just there. the seats as well, just to make this front. And as you come around, you've got your wardrobe space just here, all your overhead cupboards. And then you've got the lovely Mark spinning the seats, ready for night time. Ready for night time. So you've uh, spun the passenger seat, but you've not spun the driver's seat. So is that because we've got a cushion that's going to go in there to make yeah, up the bed? Yeah, just pulled him, just pulled him right the way forward. All right. And then we can uh, uh, release uh, this seat here. Oh just yeah. Slide that guy forward into there. Um, it pops down into that part there. That's the hardback one We've for got going the in there. Funny little filler that pops into there like that and makes that part up as well. What's good about the Symbol Plus is you can have it as two singles yeah, like look that. At that. That's brilliant. Or you can have it as one humongous big bed. Double. So we slide that little cushion into there. So you've got two singles there. Yeah. Or pull the frame out and slide it all the way across. And then I've got a couple of cushions behind my beautiful assistant which we can slide down the middle and then pull our other cushions into the middle to make that up into that really nice, large, capacious double bed. This is all the fun of camping right yeah. here. Look at that, <laughs> live and direct. And then you got your cushions. Oh, nice. And there that's we go. A really, that's a really big it's a, it's bed. A, well. it's, very, it's quite a big bed, isn't it? Yeah. So you can have it as two singles or you can have it as one humongous great big bed. That's got to be a king size as well, isn't it? Mm. Inside the wardrobe. So we've got the iNet box at the top there, which allows you to connect your heating for an app on your phone. So you control the heating and hot Just water like at, home. at home. And then you've got. Nice big bright light there for your vanity mirror. Lots of shelving down there. And then if I spin it round, this is the inside of your wardrobe. So you can see you've got a nice little kind of dinette pedestal table. 
hanging space in there. So here we are, campers, on a chilly day outside Tuesday as your motorhomes. Uh, we're going to drain down this Symbol Plus now, this Auto Sleeper Symbol Plus, and it literally is as simple as dropping down your waste drain. I'm going to open up, although we do know there's nothing in there particularly, just a little bit that we've been dribbling down on our demonstration, and I'm going to drain down and open up the fresh water tank. We're going to come around to the back of the van, and we will drain our boiler. So I'm just going to open up the panel, and I'm just going to drop by spinning this blue lever. The blue button drops out, and we are now dumping our water, our oh, fresh water, in the boiler. And what I would do at a later stage, I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up the uh, taps on the inside of the van with the pump off, so all the pipe that would drain down as well. And that's your van winterized. So there we are, campers. That's a quick tutorial on how to run your van up and indeed how to drain your van on a horrible rainy day outside Tuesday or May times. So there we are, campers. That's a quick run round how to run the van up when you get to a campsite. We do have tutorials about um, control panels uh, on the Tuesday and Motorhome channel, so check those out as well. So like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with those uh, more videos that we release as we go along. Um, also, as this we said early on, this is one of our pre-loved auto sleepers. So if it's for you, then have a look at our website. If sadly you've missed out on it, don't panic. We are a dealer, so you might be able to get a new one. Uh, the website is www.chooseleisure.co.uk. Absolutely, and talk to one of the sales guys because there's always a van for there's a van for everybody. And 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 full disclosure, what fans do we like, Dawn? Uh, all of them. We like them all. <laughs> so do join us on this journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until later, carry, carry on, on camping. camping.